Welcome to part 10 of the Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics series. In this episode, I'll be taking a look at how to place some of the components created in past episodes into an assembly, and a few ways we can manipulate their orientation. To begin, go to the top left of the ribbon and choose New. Select English from Templates, and then select Standard.IAM to create an empty assembly file. Again, from the top left corner, select Place from the ribbon. You'll see the five parts that we're going to be using for this assembly. Choose the piston case and press Open. A preview of the piston case part will appear on the screen and you can move its location with the mouse. When you have the position you're happy with, left click. Repeat the place process for the remaining four pieces. You'll notice that after you left click and place a part, a preview of the part will remain as you move the mouse. This will allow you to place multiple copies of the same part though in this case we only want one of each component. If one of the parts you've placed isn't oriented in the way you want, go to the ribbon and choose Free Rotate and select the part. You'll see that a localized orbit command will activate, allowing you to rotate a single part of the assembly while leaving the other components in their original position. Finally, it's often useful to have at least one part of your assembly locked into its position. This is especially useful once you start applying constraints to parts to help orient them with respect to the other parts of the assembly. In this example, go to the model tree and right click on the piston case. Choose grounded, and now no matter what you do, the part will always remain where it's at. Join me again next time for part 11 of the Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basics series, where I'll take a look at applying constraints to a part in an assembly for proper orientation.